quilting my flying geese border on my dear Jean medallion quilt. Um, and when I started, I was a little bit daunted as how to quilt these in a continuous line quilting. So I looked online and there was several suggestions, but I've come up with help from uh, Pinterest. I've come up with this design, if you can see that. It's, um, it's an eight point design, which I'm just going to explain it to you with my finger how I'm going to be quilting this. Um, I'm starting at a point here, at the corner, okay? So it's, I'm making a curve, one, two, to this point, the top point, three, over to here. I'm going to come up here, four, to this corner, make a loop, five, and then in the, in the actual goose itself, I'm going to be making like a fish hook type of swirl, coming back on myself to this point, and then finishing up where I began. So it's a sort of an eight point uh, continuous line. And then I can just go back down to the next one. And I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate in a moment. I have set up my machine. Um, this, is just, this, is, this is just a very short video of how I'm doing my continuous line flying geese quilting. Um, um, one of my previous videos, I showed um, much more in depth tips on how to free motion quilt, how I free motion quilt, how I was showing you how I free motion quilt my circles, my swirls, um, on my sampler quilt here. So this is just, um, this is just a little um, demonstration on how I'm doing this. Again, I have my free motion quilting foot on. Every machine is different. Every setting is different. I have my, um, my this is a, t a, a Juki mini. Um, I have a, um, my stitch length to zero, my feed dogs underneath are down. So I'm just concentrating, looking at my needle when I free motion quilt, looking at my needle. And as I said in my previous videos, and you might get bored of me saying this, I envision my needle with my thread pulling through, painting, painting my, my thread, painting my material with my thread. Now I was having some difficulty and I'm still, sometimes it still uh, shreds a bit with my thread, which is Aurifil 50, I'm um, breaking and shredding. Um, that was, I think, because of um, a needle. I had gotten two needles, new, two fresh needles put in my machine and wouldn't you know it, out of the, from the package, sometimes happens, from the manufacturer, they, they might have had a slight little minuscule burr in them and they were um, shredding, my, threading my, shredding my thread, I should say. Um, so that's, that happens. My, sometimes my thread breaks if you go back or if you go a little bit too fast. That is, the, that is what I find the nature of free motion quilting. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I can stitch, I can stitch forever and then sometimes I can stitch for two, two inches and it messes up. But this is what I'm going to be doing. My hands, my hands are, are loose but firm on my fabric, on, on my quilt. My presser foot is just gliding on the top. It's not pushing down, holding my fabric down. I have it nice and loose around me. And I'm envisioning, and it sounds airy-fairy, and I've said this before, but I'm envisioning keeping my shoulders down and the energy flowing from my arms out my hands and into my fingertips and onto the fabric. People say, oh, you make it look so easy. It's not an easy skill. Um, however, I do find it easy with more and more and more practice. Um, and I'm not intimidated at all by free motion quilting. And as you know, I, I always say, um, even a beginner should learn this experienced skill because it's just so freeing. So here I'm going to start. So hopefully it, it'll work out. I'm starting here and I'm aiming. I always say I'm listening to my machine. I'm sitting directly in front of my machine. I'm going to stop there because I always, always, always readjusting my fabric and my machine. I'm going to come back down there, and as you can see, I sort of regroup when I come to each individual flying geese unit. 
and do the exact same thing. Coming up down to the point, making a little mountain, coming up to the corner point. And as you can see, with free motion quilting, you don't have to stitch in the ditch every, every, um, every line. I don't have to stitch here to secure it because the way I'm doing it with the free motion quilting, it's sort of puffing up that area right there, which I quite like. It makes it sort of more quilty looking. And again, with free motion quilting, I am regulating the stitches. I can either make the stitches very tiny, I can make the stitches longer, or I can make the stitches what I would deem a, um, a like a, a machine stitch. By all means, I'm not perfect. Sometimes I my stitches get a bit tinier or get a bit larger. But for the most part, with practice, that's the hardest part. That's obviously the hardest part with free motion quilting, is because there's no there's no um, there's no uh, regulation of your stitching. You you're doing it. You're moving the fabric under the needle as opposed to the fabric being brought along when on um, regular stitching. So I won't bore you. I just wanted to. I just wanted to demonstrate. Uh, my free motion quilting, my continuous line, I should say. Because again, as I said, I was a bit in a quandary. Like, how am I going to quilt, what is it, 120 or however many flying geese I have here? How in the world am I going to quilt all of these flying geese? As you can see, I've not secured any of this sashing over here. I'm working my way from the inside out. This is all, this is all still pinned, but this part has been completely this part of my quilt here has been completely quilted. Now you can make the hook go either right or left. You can make a double hook if you wanted to. Um, the, oops, 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 oops. The important part is, again, as I always say, the important thing with free motion quilting or any kind of quilting across the top of your quilt is to quilt it consistently. So my quilt is quilted about every inch apart um, for, my, for my quilting stitches. the other way. I'll go the other way. <laughs> With, always with your needle down. Whenever you free motion quilt, you always want to end with your needle down in the fabric. Because if you don't, there's no tension. There's no tension on your quilt. There's no tension on your, on your thread. There's no tension anywhere. So you always end with your needle down. And in this case, my presser foot is down also. And then I can just start. I can rearrange my fabric. I can regroup and then I can continue. There are many, many uh, tutorials and books and um, information online about what is called, this is continuous line quilting, okay? If um, a, a bit, perhaps in a more conventional, in, a, in, a, in an earlier time, I should say, a more conventional manner, you would have to quilt this, you know, you would have to do this and then you're at a, you, you don't know where to go. You get boxed in. You don't know where to go. That's what a lot of people say about free motion quilting. They don't know where to go. They get somewhere, even with just like a meandering. Well, that's the whole point of trying to figure out, um, don't overstress it, but like, where, where do I want to go? And if you do get like boxed in, just stop, just stop. And, and then just start again. It's, it's no big, it's no big deal. <laughs> What, I always say this should be fun and it's just fabric and thread <laughs> and I just find free motion quilting as you know um, fun 
And once you get your machine figured out, oh, it's not fun if your machine is all messed up and your tension and your, your needles break and you don't have the correct thread. Again, this is Aurafil. I've used two different threads on here because I ran out of my um, Guterman's or Gutterman's or whatever. Um, I, and, and am I like bothered with either cotton or polyester? This is cotton thread. Um, not really. That's what I have. Um, mostly I use cotton thread. As I said, this is 50 weight Aurafil thread, which is a more expensive thread, but I'm using Aurafil all the while in my bobbin anyway. A lot of people have their own thread preferences. Um, a lot of people can be thread snobs and use only this one or that one. I don't want like that. I use, I use what's there or what was on sale. It works. <laughs> Hopefully you can see this. I'm going to go edit this and just put this up. Short video. Short video for me, right? Because <laughs> I talk a lot. But I just thought the people who are interested in free motion quilting or wondering, like I was, like how in the world do you quilt certain shapes without stopping and starting? So there you go. I'm only stopping to, as I say, to sort of regroup, to move my, fur my, my furniture, to move my quilt around. Um, I'm only working, as you know, I only work right in front of me. I'm sitting directly in front of the needle. I'm not worried about any part of my quilt. I'm just working right in front of my needle. And again, the beauty of free motion quilting is what? You can go back and forth and up and down and sideways and that oops that is very very freeing and fun bobbin thread you see that yeah I ran out of bobbin thread so anyway so let me just cut this off yeah I've been stitching for quite a long time I ran out of my bobbin thread but um yeah oh look at that yeah I think that's really really nice so let me just pull my camera down here a bit more so you can see it and go slowly so there one hook's going that way and one hook's going that way yeah, please. And again, I've stitched in the ditch along here, but not out, out here. I'm just smoothing my, let me just pull this out. I'm just smoothing my blocks. As you can see, they're pinned. And uh, pull this out. Yeah, I zoomed in. So there, these are, these are some of my, my circles. And I did free motion quilt these st uh, stripes here, this straight line. It, they're, they're, they are free motion quilting. I was too lazy to put my regular foot on. And again, I was able to go up and down, up and down and across. And then I free motion quilted my applique. I, I quilted it around my applique, in my applique, and echoed my applique. So that's how far I've gone. But yeah, continuous line flying geese. Hope you enjoyed this, folks. All right, love from the tree loves. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.